Rose gang, it's your girl Rachel Rose here back with another video and I'm going to be doing a morning routine for you guys. If you're new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on my post notifications. If you're already subscribed to me, thank you so much. Okay, so it's nine o'clock in the morning right now. Usually I wake up earlier than this, but you know, this quarantine got me all off schedule. Like I'd be going to sleep at like 1 32 in the morning and be waking up around like nine now, but I used to be able to wake up at like six. So yeah, but so that's why it's so bright in here. So I'm going to show y'all everything I do. So I just woke up. So the first thing I'm going to do is brush my teeth. <sighs> okay, so I brush my teeth. The next thing I usually do is, since I don't have to go anywhere right now, we're on quarantine, we're on lockdown, I am going to get ready to work out. Cause that's what I like. I like to get my workout done in the morning so that I can go ahead and shower and like, you know, be fresh for the rest of the day. And so yeah, I'm gonna go get ready, get dressed to uh, do my workout for the day. And then we'll see what we do next. So I'm all dressed to work out. This is what I'm wearing, just some regular, tights and a sports bra um i'm in my guest room because this room had the mirror in it so that's why you see the empty bed and stuff but i'm gonna go ahead and get this workout in before i work out i always let them out to use the bathroom china never like to go come on china so i have to walk out so that she come gonna be so pretty today i should go running outside there's a black cat over there do y'all see that right there anywho um i should go running outside should i so sometimes i run outside and sometimes i run on that treadmill that's behind me the only you know what i should run outside because it's so pretty but the only reason i'm running on the treadmill is because i've been um i had this goal set for myself to run on six and try to run as long as I can. So for the longest time, I could not make a mile. And like, I finally made a mile this past week and I've been running at a mile um, every day. And yesterday, uh, Kivon suggested, why don't you just cover up the uh, the monitor, like the, the thing that show how far I'm running and just run. So I'm like, hmm, I don't know if I, I don't know how I feel about that. I wanna make sure I run a mile. You know, I don't wanna get tired and then look at it and, and then see I got like a whole bunch more to run he was like just try it so let me tell y'all yesterday i ran a mile point 25 roughly about 125 and yeah i was so proud of myself because it was like it was it's been a long time since i've been able to run that, that long and i was like dang so now i will run outside but i want to make sure i want to see i want to make sure that i keep up the same cardio the same speed be forced to keep that same speed uh, on the treadmills to see how much further I can go today. So that's why I want to, that's why I want to stay on the treadmill because I mean, I, I run outside anyway, but today, this morning, I want to run a treadmill to see how far I can run as compared to yesterday. And then probably later on today, I'll go running outside. So that's that. I'm going to go ahead and get on this treadmill y'all and get my workout started. So y'all, I didn't make it as far as I wanted to. I only made it to one mile. I wanted to go over a mile. Ooh, let's lift it. I wanted to go over a mile, but at least I made it to a mile, so I'm happy about that. I'm probably gonna go running again later today, but I think I did pretty good. It went by quick, pretty quick, but I'm gonna do some abs and push-ups, and then I'll see what I'm gonna do next. Probably take a shower or something, but. Let me just bust out these abs and push ups real quick.
work out complete. So now I'm finna, uh, I don't know if I want to shower first or if I want to clean up a little bit. I think I'm gonna clean up a little bit because look at the mess she made. She be dragging shoes all in the middle of the floor. So yeah, I think I'm gonna clean up a little bit first and then I'll take a shower. So I'm about to go ahead and clean the kitchen because I got to make myself some breakfast and I hate making food in a dirty kitchen. So we didn't clean up last night. So I'm about to go ahead and clean up this morning. We got dishes. We got stuff all on the counter. We got a pot on the stove. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going I'm to go ahead and clean up and then we'll uh, see about making some food. <laughs> disinfectant wipes to uh, wipe down the counter and everything. Some Clorox wipes. <laughs> kitchen i'm gonna go ahead and pick up all these shoes and stuff from all around the house that she spread around her toys and i'm gonna vacuum the floor and then i'm gonna go and get ready to take my shower look at this floor oh i need to fill up the dog bowls that one got food in it and water but this one is empty all right y'all so that's my favorite part of the day it's time to get my ass in the shower um, I wanted to let y'all know the products that I use when I take my shower, just in case somebody had happened to ask. But I use Dove body wash every day, all day. This is this is my go-to. Like if I don't, if I'm running out of this, I'm going back to the store to buy some more because I love this stuff. It don't leave me ashy or dry or nothing. So I use this, and then I go in after I rinse off. I exfoliate with this, y'all. This, this right here, y'all need to go get some. It's some at Walmart. Y'all can get the different um, fragrances and stuff. I got tropical mango. But yes, y'all, get some of this. This is so good for discoloration, uneven skin tone, dark spots. It exfoliates your skin. Like I highly recommend it. And it leaves it moisturized and soft. So use this after you use your body wash. After your shower, rinse off, and you'll be good to go. Okay, y'all, so I had to go into my hair bathroom because the other bathroom is all foggy and stuff. And I just don't like the way it feel in there after I'm out and dry and stuff. So I'm gonna show y'all what I use for my face because I didn't show y'all what I use for my face. So I only show y'all what I use for my body for my showers. So first things first, I always apply Noxzema cream to my face. Bro, I'm, t <clears throat> I'm telling y'all, the simpler y'all keep it, the better off you will be. I'm, I'm dead ass like you, man, y'all buy like a thousand products to put on your face to do this. This is for this and this is for that. This is for this and this is for that. Bro, if y'all just go back to the basics, I swear like if you just keep it simple, your skin will be back to its natural state. It will be doing just fine because mine, I'm good. You know what I'm saying? Like I've never, when I found out about Nazim and I started using this, I don't, I don't have breakouts no more like that. I don't have clogged pores or anything like that. Scarring has decreased and everything like that. So I, I 
highly recommend going back to the old days, going back to the original cleaning your face routine. Like I'm telling y'all, the simpler y'all do it, the better it will be for you. But anyway, so this is Noxzema. Um, I use, there's different kinds, but this is the one I use. I like the one that um, says moisturizing on it. So it also, it's classic clean and on top of that, it's moisturizing. Cause I know they have um, other ones, but it don't say moisturizing, but I want the one that actually moisturizes. Even though I'm moisturized after I use this, I just don't want it to drop my skin up like crazy. You know what I'm saying? So this is what it looks like. It's literally just cream. It's like a airy cream. It feels so good. So just get a get a little scoop of that with your, your finger. If y'all wondering why, why I'm wearing this, it's because my damn lace is lifting, okay? My damn lace is lifting, and I don't want y'all to see that. I don't want to see that. I got to take this wig off today, so I'm going to do it, okay? Just let, just give me some time. But, yeah, that's why I'm wearing this shit, okay? So just get a little uh finger size amount and just rub it on your face, yeah. Um, I get it in my eyebrows too because sometimes I break out in my eyebrows. But this isn't a cream that you rub in. You literally just put it on top of your face on your face. You know what I'm saying? China? She finna get her ass whooped. She over here tearing up carpet in front of my face. So yeah, I I like to do my eyebrows too because I be breaking out inside my eyebrows like in the hairs uh, i'm happy that they're dark and you can't see it when i do have my breakouts in my um my eyebrows it's not like a nasty breakout it's only like maybe a bump every once in a while but yeah this is how i put it on my face just make sure my whole face is covered and it feels so good like it feels like a peppermint you know what i'm saying like it feels so good i feel like it's cleaning it's doing its job i feel like refreshed and stuff like that i just let me know if y'all have had this or if y'all have used this before. Let me know what y'all think about it or why y'all stopped using it because this right here is the truth. Kevon put me on and I done stayed on ever since. I even put my little sister on this. This is y'all haven't um if y'all have bad acne, just try this. Try this, please, and let me know how um y'all acne react. But yeah, I'll let this be on for a couple minutes. Close this back up. That's really all I use on my face. Now, when I do, when I wear makeup though, if I'm wearing makeup, I like to, cause sometimes makeup wipes don't come off, don't bring all the makeup off and stuff like that. So I mean, yeah, you can use a lot of like a lot of makeup wipes. You can use cotton balls. I got cotton balls right here, by the way. Um, you can use cotton balls. Um, you know, those waters, micellar waters or whatever you call them. You know, makeup remover oil or water or whatever. But what I do with my makeup is I get um Dove. Where the... I'm going to go get it. One second. Okay, so this is what I use whenever I'm wearing makeup. It sounds crazy. I know it's body polish, but I use it on my damn face. Okay? So whenever I wear makeup, as soon as I get my... I'll get my face wet a little bit. And then I get a dab of this and I use it because it's a scrub. I just use it and I scrub my face to scrub the makeup out of my pores. Rinse do it again rinse and then at that point you know i'm washing my face and everything i use that dove soap that i showed y'all i use that dove soap sometimes on my face too if i don't want to use this um so i use that and after i rinse and everything like that then i go in with the noxzema to go ahead and cleanse up cleanse my face go ahead and get all the stuff that i missed or anything that i left behind and clean my face and when i tell you i'll be feeling refreshed when i tell you i'll be feeling clean like girl it's ridiculous. So that's what I recommend. And y'all don't have to use this. I know it seems kind of sketchy because it's a body polish. But this shit exfoliates the fuck out of my face. You feel me? And with the Noxzema, I only use it. Um, I usually only use it at night when I take my night shower. But you can use it at any time of the day. I don't like to exfoliate in the morning if I know I'm going to put on makeup because my pores are open and I do not want to put makeup into my pores. So I usually just uh, do the night. If I'm wearing makeup that day, I use it after. For, I use it during my shower after I've worn makeup, not before I put on makeup because my pores are open. But this, this shit feels so like pepperminty, like minty, like, like God, damn. But I'm going to go ahead and rinse my face off right now. 
see my towel already. Yeah, so you don't you don't rub this into your face. You just rub it onto your face. Very refresh. I'm telling y'all, after I use this, y'all will feel so fucking clean. Like. <sighs> okay, so after I usually do that, I just be basic. I go ahead and moisturize my face. So, let me tell y'all about this lotion. I do not play about this lotion. It's expensive. Don't get me wrong. I think this thing was like $7, $8. But, this y'all smell so good. It keep me moisturized. Usually, sometimes when I put lotions on, Either the smell is too strong and it irritates my eyes, or you know, it just it the smell is too strong, it's just irritating, or it's really water, it's really watery, or it don't leave me moisturized for a long time. Let me tell you about this. This Shea Moisture Black African Black Soap uh Soothing Body Lotion. I'm sorry, I'm reading it backwards. But let me tell y'all, this right here is the truth. This keeps me moisturized. All I gotta do is put this on, I'm good all day. So, and I don't play about this. I don't let nobody use my shit, okay? Because it's expensive and this ain't nothing to be played around with. And it lasts a long time because all I, use, all I do is use it on my face. I don't even use this on my body. I use this on my face specifically. But yeah, this right here is the truth. So I just get a pea-sized amount. Maybe that much. And I just rub it in my face. Like right after I use a Noxema, I just moisturize my face with this. And it smells so, like, it's like a smell that doesn't irritate my eyes. It's, it's like a mellow smell, but you can smell it. Like, oh my God, I just love this shit. Mm, it's like a fresh smell. Like, it's like, I'm not trying to smell good, but I just happen to smell good. You know what I mean? And it moisturized the fuck out of my face. I mean, obviously, because Shea Moisture products are good anyway. Like, I use their shampoo, conditioner lotion shea moisture just got a good amount like they, they just got good products all across the board but that's what i use for my face and then lastly i just go in with some vaseline coconut butter coconut butter <laughs> cocoa butter uh vaseline it's kind of old so i just moisturize my face i mean not my face my lips and then i'm good to go but that's it. Like, literally, that's it. It's it's nothing more, nothing less. Keep it simple, you know what I'm saying? And take care of your face. That's it, you know? People buy all these products. This is for this. This is to this. Um, just keep it basic. And you'll be straight. I promise you. Okay? But I'm hungry, so I'm going to go ahead and eat me some food. I'm going to go find something to eat. I don't know what I want to eat yet. I haven't decided, but we're going to find out together. Oh, and if you were wondering what I was wearing, this is what I'm wearing. This dress is from Forever 21. I got it last year and I just love it. It's so comfortable. It's stretchy. Um, the colors are blue, red, and white. And it's kind of like you can wear it for 4th of July or something. I don't know. But it's really cute. It's stretchy. I love the material. It's thick enough to where you can't see through it. So that's a plus. And yeah. Okay, so I thought I wanted some eggs and bacon. But I think I'm going to just eat some yogurt and oats. And maybe some pineapples. So that's what I'm in the mood for right now. So yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. Cause I don't I don't know. Like yesterday I wanted some eggs and bacon for breakfast today, but I don't know. I don't think I'm feeling that right now. Or should I? Oh, this is a hard this is <laughs> cause I'll make some eggs. Fuck it. I'll make some eggs and bacon.
So this is the kind of bacon that we like to use. It's the Oscar Mayer thick cut bacon. And it is so good. Kevon loves it. Oh my God, he loves it so much. So he he actually ate this whole half a pack yesterday. Was it yesterday? It was like yesterday or the day before. But I'm just gonna make me like two pieces of bacon and some eggs. Under my eggs in this cup right here. This shit really is thick. Like this shit is thick cut bacon for real. See how thick that is. So bacon and eggs for breakfast. We got that now. Am I the only one that like to say bacon grease? But whenever I need it for like something that I'm cooking. And I cut up some fresh pineapples yesterday. I cut up a whole pineapple yesterday, so I put those in the refrigerator. Oh. So those are in there. If I'm still hungry, I'll probably eat those on the side. So I'm just scrambling my eggs. to my eggs today. I don't think. I don't know. It's like whenever I think about it, I just can't decide. I just gotta let it happen. Gotta let it go with the flow. water with me okay so i don't have my food i'm good to go for the day now i feel energized i feel like i'm ready to conquer the day but so right now i have to do some school i'm doing online school during this whole quarantine thing and i found this website well well yes yeah, a website there's this program where uh they're partnered with certain universities and colleges where they offer classes equivalent to the classes that you would take at the university at a lower price if you're paying out of pocket or if you're on a scholarship or something that's different but since i was getting ta i was getting tuition assistance through the military it only pays for about six classes at this school and that would mean that after i would use my ta i would either have to come out of pocket get a scholarship grant something so i only have like one class with ta left but when this whole pandemic came out like when all this coronavirus thing ha this stuff happened the program that was partnered with my university offered classes for free like it's it's free now so you can take all the classes you want as long as you get them done by i think it said july 31st they're, they have it um all, all the classes free till july 31st so and it's only may and you they're self-paced classes so you have two months to complete one class and you can do as many classes as you want so when i tell y'all i'm taking 11 elective classes i don't even think they're all elective classes some of them are uh core classes but I'm taking 11 classes in two to three months. 
and and it's self-paced so i can go as fast as i want so every day i'm working on the class and then like right after that i'm hitting another one back to back back to back and that's just i mean that's just me some people don't have the time to do that some people um you know got kids and stuff and that's what i love about i mean i go to school online anyway so this whole pandemic was an adjustment wasn't an adjustment for me because like it fits into my schedule because i work full-time anyway and then i'm trying to go to school and get my degree when they said all these courses was free bitch i hopped on that train so the name of the site is called sophia.org sophia like the name dot org and you go there let me show you okay so i'm at google i type in sophia okay sophia learning and then you click this link sophia.org and this is the website okay so y'all see what this say it says that if your university, school, or workplace education program has been affected by COVID-19, we're offering free access to our courses for college credit until July 31st. So that's what I'm doing. I'm taking as many classes as I possibly can before July 31st. And, okay, y'all see that? Low-cost, self-paced courses. Literally self-paced. They give you more than enough time to finish these classes, okay? One class, you have two months to finish. So, and I mean, some people be like, oh, no, that's crazy. You know, I, uh, no, it's easy. Like, I swear, it is so easy. So, if you don't know if your college is uh, qualified on this, like, you, if you don't know if your college is partnered with them, these are the colleges that they're partnered with. So, if you see your college on there, I suggest you go ahead and take a look at this and get some free classes in. Just compare the classes that you've already taken and compare the classes that you need to take and if they're on here go ahead and take it okay so um i hope i bless somebody for real so because like colleges don't i don't know why my college didn't even uh recommend this like they didn't even tell me anything about this i think it's because they would what the motherfucking fly in this bitch okay oh uh -uh. i'm sorry okay because that motherfucker's right here by my face okay <clears throat> but yeah so you basically just choose a class so these are the um different kinds of classes they offer and stuff i haven't selected a college specifically but that shouldn't make a difference but so hopefully your college is on there and what it does is tell you how many credits this is for the kind of class it is they got reviews and they say price you see that all free so let me focus this one got a lot of reviews, but it's only one credit, so I guess a lot of people take it, took it. So, visual communications, that's three credits. Let me give y'all an example. So, it gives you information about the class, and then it says 26 of their partners need uh, have this class. They have It's like guaranteed transfer to these 26 schools if you take this class. And it just gives you information about it, and then it tells you about the class, and they actually have real student reviews. I've written my own reviews before because I've taken classes already. But um, you get, these are like real-time reviews. So May 5th and it's what, May 7th right now? You see that? So that's pretty recent. PBC people saying challenge, apparently easy, love this course, great course, great class, fun, quick, easy class. There's some classes I've taken in two days, like for real. Like it's so easy. It's it's not that much work. All you got to do is sit down and give it some time. So that's why every day I, sit, I give like, at least an hour or two towards school and then um i just do that every day because they give me more than enough time to do it but if i really really want to grind it out and get a class out I, i've done it in two days like seriously some of the classes are a little bit harder than others like um my psychology class is a little bit harder than my college readiness class but you know i mean what do you expect i mean that's what college is all about so i hope i helped y'all with that other than that like that's that's basically all i do every morning uh i just work out you know brush my teeth clean up um do some school work maybe edit some youtube videos check out youtube you know watch youtube videos get some ideas and then that's basically it if i keep recording i'm gonna go into the afternoon because it's already 11 30 right now so i really enjoyed recording this video i'm glad y'all could see like what i do in the morning I know some people was wondering. I hope y'all um, learned something from it, especially like with the facial care. If you made it this far in the video, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see y'all in the next one.